Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm -hmm. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What? What lack keep, in, keep, keep in mind, it said the young man. So he must have been in, in his 20s, you know, 25. And don't say that you can't be, you can't have a whole lot of money at that age. Even in this time, you got Jake at 19, they got all kind of money, man. Yep. And that money destroys them. At the end, they get they turn to drugs and and they, they, they or they, they they commit a suicide or they just die of overdose because they don't know how to. They're not wise. They don't know how to deal with all that money, man. Sure. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, mm -hmm. and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Right. So so for you Jakes out there, if you, you know that listening, you believe, man, make the next step, man. Start start getting in contact with the brothers. The brothers that within GMS that need the help, brothers that who believe they need the help, man, and and and, and do you know um, charity? It's called charity, which is called love. Yeah. And 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 then, and then and more than that, make the next step and then start teaching, start doing. If you're able to, if that spirit is on you, you know. And if I can say this, you can't just you can't buy your way into that. That's just part of your, your, right. the things that's right. given to you. Right. As much as required, right. you know, because there was a man that during the um. Book of Acts, they tried to give um, the apostles money. Buy, yep. They tried to buy it, and he was cursed. Yep. And the Lord told him, You can repent from that. Yep. But you can't buy your way into that. Right. If you get but it is a, a charitable thing and a thing of love. If you have this world's good and your brother have need to take care of him and do the right things with it. You know? That's right. Yeah, cause the point is not about money. The point is, what are you? It's called sacrifice. Yeah. Are you ready to sacrifice your 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 earthly belongings? Yeah. And, uh, to attain this, are you willing? Are you willing to to sac to to sacrifice yourself? Yeah. Um. Uh. Romans the twelfth chapter. Romans the twelfth chapter, in the first verse, a uh, bodily bodily uh, sacrifice. I believe in Romans the 12th chapter. Yeah, man. Yeah, and we out here. Yeah, we out here. Look, man, it's snowing out here. It's cold as shit. Yeah. And we Israel, man. We don't like the cold, man. Shit, Esau like the cold. But you know what? We doing. We doing this, and this is a bodily sacrifice. And we. And look, GMS. We're known for doing it all throughout winter, man. Brick cold. We go out there. What are we proving? We're not proving nothing to you, niggas. What we proving is our sacrifice too. Yahweh about show me how shy, man. Our love that we got. That we laid down our life for the elect, and we even laid down our life for Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man, for this word's sake. This yep. is, right. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice. All right? Meaning you go out to do the work, whether it's cold, hot, <sighs> rainy, dry, whatever. You hungry? You ain't get no food yet, but you gotta do the work. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, don't be over righteous though. You got brothers that go out to camp and don't eat nothing. Eat something. We, you know, don't faint out there. Don't be, don't be stupid. Don't be. Use your fucking common sense, man. All right. Yeah. We ain't saying that. We ain't. You know. Like you know what I'm saying? But we try to be over righteous. Balance is all about balance, man. And yeah, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to the Most High, while your heart shy, which is a reasonable service. Which is a reasonable service. Why is it reasonable? Give me that scripture. Um, and, uh, because because uh, look, uh, because we 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 we're supposed to do this. What, oh, okay, you know, okay, uh, uh, unprofitable. Yeah. Right. Um. Right. That. Yeah. 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 Listen. This is a reasonable. We're supposed to do this. Our Lord Yahweh Ba Shemi died two thousand two thousand some odd years ago for us to be delivered at this time. Ain't that something? Two thousand some odd years ago. This man, this power, this, you know, so the son of the Heavenly Father, died, was sacrificed. He sacrificed himself, put himself up. How many of you niggas put yourself up for any nigga? No, but none of you. If anything, you rat on, your, on, you know, I'm talking about you wicked ass niggas out there in the world. You rat on yourselves and hand over your brother to, to the wicked, man. Our Savior sacrificed himself so that at this time, 2,000 years later, 
that we could be saved from the from the major destruction that's coming. Because he knew of it. He knew that his father, Yahweh, revealed it unto him. Look, yeah, these people uh, in this time, this world is going to be a major, new, a major destruction that man has never ever seen before ever. So my elect, I gotta save them somehow with my blood. Because if not, the heavenly Father would, would, would have destroyed us, man. It's not it, damn it. Well, this is back in Matthew's. Well, okay. Find that. Yeah, this is Matthew's 19 and 21. Okay. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell what thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt be, and thou shalt have treasures in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. He had great possessions. Many, yeah. many men. He had servants. Yeah. He had he had wealth beyond measure. He had you know, and, and, and more than likely it was passed down to him. Cause you know, back then you had wealthy Israelites, man. You know they had money. They had cattle, had sheep, had everything. Had gold, had silver, had plenty of food, had uh, probably harems of women. Who knows, right? All kind of uh, Israelites working for him, and he was young. Like I said, could have been twenty, could have been twenty-five, whatever. Hell, probably younger than that. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easy. I say hardly shall a rich man enter the kingdom of heaven, but it is possible. Yeah. Because, to be honest, that's the way that the elect is going to make it. Hardly. You know, by, this, by Job said, that, that saying, by the skin of your teeth, guess where they get that saying from? Job. That saying, by the skin of your teeth, be, meaning you being saved by the skin of your teeth, because your teeth don't have skin. Job quoted that. All right? So certain sayings come from the Bible, man. And that's how all the elect is going to make it. Through much tribulation and suffering shall we make it into the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, yep. So it is possible for a rich man to make it, but that rich man has to kick up everything that he held dear to him in this world, man. Yeah, right. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Which the eye of a needle was a uh, gate going into I got you, I got you. through I got the walls you. of Jerusalem. And it was a small gate only meant for men to walk through. But a camel, because of its hump, it was hard for it to walk through just like the way. It, so they would have to make the camel kneel and crawl through it. Even, even when it had burdens on itself. So the camel, the camel is a bad creature. The camel, like they call it, the ship, ship of the sea. A camel is able to, you know, kneel and, cry and do all kind of shit, man. All right, so you know, uh, and retain water in the in the desert so that it don't die, you know. And again, huh? In the humps. The humps yeah. yeah. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man into the, the kingdom of the Most High. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then shall be saved? But Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, Which men, with men this is impossible, but with the Most High all things are possible. So Yahweh Shai was saying, look, it is possible for a rich man to make it. But they have to they have to sacrifice their belongings, what they have. What they, because who gave them the belongings in the first place? Give me first Samuel's the second chapter and the first verse on them. Did you got right, something? Yeah, I got something real right. quick. Wait, can you get that one? Can you get that one? What do you call it? First Samuel? This is uh chapter Luke, I mean Luke chapter 21, verse 1. I read on down quick. It says, and he looked up. This talk about the Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, and he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. Two mites will represent like two pennies. Yep. Okay. And he said of a truth. Actually, it'll probably be less than a, than a penny. You know, because I think uh, you had like a pence would be a penny. A mite would be like half a penny, man. Yeah. So it was like, it was, it was all that she had. Yeah. And she was a widow. There was, no, there was nothing left for her, you know. And he said of a truth, I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. Yeah, because she did it out her heart. And you know what? And I'm going to say this, that you do have women out there that follow follow us, uh, follow Yahweh Hashem Yahweh through the elder apostles of Great Millstone, 
other uh, uh, elders of Great Millstone that are out there supporting us, man. They send in tights weekly. All right, they give praises. They 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 pray. You know, they they catch in hell. Some of them have lost houses, you know, and and have got got and re, and then regained houses. Some of them have lost children, you know, and they have been and they follow us. All right, we know this personally, and they follow us, man, and they they're faithful. So we're not we're not you know you hear us bashing women and stuff. We talking first of all we talking about we we bashing we're, we're not bashing women. women. We're bashing hoes, bitches. Yeah. All right, but those of you 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 um decent. Uh, Israelite women out there, man. Look, hey, the Lord knows you, knows you, knows your heart, and you know, hey, you just keep on, keep on doing what you're doing. Keeping, you know, the Lord knows, the Lord, the Lord knows your heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, because there is gonna, there is gonna be women making it. There's gonna be children making it. Okay. Yep. So it says, uh, of a truth I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. Because she did it from her heart. And they did it because they of the abundance of their riches, they they did it. Yep. But they didn't do it because of uh, faith for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai or anything. Mm -hmm. For all these, going into what you just said, mm -hmm. for all these have of their abundance cast into the offerings of the Most High. Mm -hmm. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. Meaning, she, uh, because of her faith that she believed in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, she believed in the, in the disciples, yeah. she believed in the message that they were teaching, she gave all that she had, man. All of her penury, man. She didn't have much, but the little that she gave. Yeah, and penury means poverty. Yeah, okay, that's being where you poor. Get the word penny. That's where you get right. the word penny from. Might is a half a penny. Right, might is a half a penny. Thank you, the water. Yeah. Okay. So she gave two mites. Oh, two mites is a penny? Yeah. Okay. No, no. Uh, a mite is a half a penny. Okay, so she gave two mites. So she gave a penny. Yeah. Yeah, she gave a penny. So the she water. Gave her penury. Because uh, yes. um, the, the penny represents the kingdom. Ah, that's right. Oh, yeah. And that's right, right, right. The water, the water. Yeah, so the other Apostle Ronald said that a mite is half a penny. Two mites equals is equivalent to one penny. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, and that she gave that for tights but because that was all she had, man. Yep. All right? And you brothers, you know, it's, it's good to learn about your 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 different weights and measures of, of monies, uh, of you know, of currencies and, 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 and stuff like that. I mean, is that going to save you? No. You know, but it's, it's good to know and learn this stuff, man. You know, right? Yep. Um, so let's let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go to First Thessalonians, the uh, fifth chapter. Oh, I have that too. On. And uh, we're gonna end it with that. All right. As you can see, it's snowing. If you can't see that, it's snowing out here, man. Yeah. All right. So um, go ahead. First Thessalonians five, five and one. But the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And that was way back, going back 2000, right? They don't have the date. Years ago. And back then they knew that the time was at hand. So how much more, how close are we now? Yeah. You see, you see how scary that is? That's real. How scary, how scary is that? You know, so come on, man. You know, you know, pay attention to what's going on, you know. The world events, tie them up with the scriptures, man, and, and that's it, man. Yep, okay. All right, because this is real times, man. All right, go ahead. For when they shall say peace and safety. When they shall say peace and safety, it's talking about the these leaders, fake leaders, fake Israelite leaders, and f and um, the uh, re fake Israelite religious leaders out there telling their congregation that everything is going to be okay, that leader. Trump is going to be for them and help them out. And yeah. come on, man, how leader. how how long are you going to drink drink that Kool Aid, man? Yeah. You niggas don't you ain't, you don't get tired of the of the of, of that Hawaiian punch, man. A uh, Kool Aid. <laughs> and different juices they feed you they give you to drink man you love sugar you love sugar you know who else loves sugar roaches love sugar <laughs> alright yeah. and you motherfuckers love it and you know what happens to a roach they get stomped on man <laughs> so fuck y'all yeah, yeah, you, you want you want that you want that sugar man then get that sugar get that sugar man get that sugar alright because we ain't rolling with that shit man alright you, know, you know what we love truth man sure. go ahead so when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape and that's what's coming 
coming. Sudden destruction upon you. Pray ye not that your flight be nigh in the winter. And with that, we're going to say, uh, Shalom. Uh, Kwam Yasha Allah. Death to Esau and the other nations. Death to Esau. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.